What's up, Supermoto Bros? Welcome back to episode five of the Supermoto Bike Build. And today, we're gonna to be installing our new Olin's suspension. Without my partners, this bike build would not be possible. So big thanks to them, as well as big thanks to Toxic Motor Racing for sponsoring today's video and supplying the Olin's suspension. He is the Olin's dealer, as well as Warp 9, Hinson Clutches, Slide Moto, and all of your Supermoto tires. He's a one-stop shop for Supermoto, so make sure to hit him up. So step one in today's video is going to be installing the Olin forks on the 2022 CRF 450. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely excited to install these. And I mean, just for looks, they look amazing. But also for performance wise, I'm excited to ride on them and get to use these bad boys. So first thing we're gonna do is remove the front wheel. From there, we'll go ahead and remove the right fork. And then we'll go ahead and remove the front brake system from the left fork. And then we'll go ahead and remove the left fork from the triple clamps. Now that we have our forks off, we'll go ahead and take the fork guards off of the stock forks, and then we'll go ahead and install them on the Olin's forks. Now that we've removed the front fork guard, we're gonna go ahead and cut the inside of the fork guard. Because we run the Supermoto wheels and tires that are wider than the stock motocross wheels and tires, we have to cut this off so that way we don't get any rub on the fork guard. Now that we got that cut, we can go ahead and install it on our Olin suspension. When reinstalling the small Allen screws, make sure to put some blue Loctite on them so that way they don't back out. These bolts, you don't want to tighten super tight because they're very easily stripped. And so you just want to put some blue Loctite on there just to make sure they don't back out on you. Now that we've cut both fork guards and reinstalled them on our Olin's forks, we can go ahead and install the Olin's forks into our triple clamps on the bike. Once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and make sure they are fully secured on the triple clamps by tightening down the bolts. These bolts right here, you wanna make sure that they are tight, but not over tight because there are moving parts within the fork. And the top triple clamp bolts, you wanna make sure those are the ones that are tighter that way your forks don't fall out on you. If you head over to keyforinktesting.com, you'll find the CRF 450 torque spec sheet, and this will have all of the torque specs that you will need for the bike. But for today's video, we only need the fork top clamp pinch bolt and the fork bottom clamp pinch bolt specs. It's very important to follow these specs very closely because over tightening can cause binding inside the fork, or if it's too loose, it can allow the forks to twist while you're riding. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description down below for you guys to check out. Now that we have our forks installed correctly, let's go ahead and reinstall our front wheel. We'll go ahead and make sure our axle pinch bolts are nice and tight so we don't lose that front wheel. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall our Warp 9 front brake system. And boy, oh boy, do those look good on this bike. I'm so excited to get to test these out at our first track day. And now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and install our Olin's shock. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only way, I'm not saying it's the right way, I'm not saying it's the wrong way, but to take a shock off, there's multiple ways of doing it. People all have their own way. So if you guys have a better way than what I'm doing, please let me know down in the comments because it would definitely be much appreciated and it would help me out chain shocks faster if I ever have to do it again. But what I do, I take the plastics off, take the pipe off, remove the subframe. Actually, I don't remove the subframe all the way, I just removed the subframe bolts that connected to the frame.
Now that we have the subframe bolts removed, let's go ahead and break the shock loose by taking the top nut off. Now that we got that top nut off, let's go ahead and take the bottom nut off. Now that we got that bottom nut off, I went ahead and grabbed my center punch and a mallet. And I'm going to go ahead and tap that top bolt out of the shock. You may have to go to the other side and wiggle the shock up and down to pull that bolt out. Now we'll go ahead and punch the bottom bolt out. Like I said before, if you guys have a better way of doing this, please let me know down in the comments. But my next step is to take off the box that holds the ECU. Once I remove the cover, I remove this clip that's in the rubber holder. And from here, I'm usually able to twist the shock, lift up on the subframe and pull the shock out. And from here, we'll go ahead and put our Olin shock in. I was able to drop mine right on in and line the holes up pretty easily actually. Once I got the holes lined up, I was able to slide that shock bolt right on in. I had to lift up on my rear wheel to get the bottom shock hole to line up, but once I did, I just put the bolt right on in. We'll go ahead and reinstall this electrical piece back into the rubber holder. Now that we got that installed, we'll go ahead and reinstall our ECU cover. That way no dirt gets in there and messes anything up. We'll go ahead and reattach our tank to the subframe and line our subframe holes up with the frame and put those bolts back in. Always make sure to double check to make sure the boot to the airbox is still connected to the motor because there is a chance that it can come disconnected in this process. So I recommend double checking that. Now that we got our subframe reattached and buttoned up, it's time to reinstall our Yoshimira pipe. And that completes the hard part. Now we just put our plastics and our seat back on. Once that's done, we have officially completed installing our new Olin suspension provided by Toxic Moto. Your one stop shop for all your Supermoto needs. If you guys liked today's video, please drop a like down below as it helps me out a lot and share this video with a friend, especially if they're building their own Supermoto bike. And if you can, and if you want to, subscribe to the channel as it helps me out immensely and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos by your boy. This Olin suspension looks absolutely insane and I cannot wait to test these bad boys on the track. Thanks Toxic Moto for sponsoring this video. And I'll catch you Supermoto Bros in the next one.